Hello, here is Tusha Lach. Today I would like you to show you how I created cover for this canvas album. At first I have chosen a few of 7 dot studio stencils and some colors of impasto paint by Finnabar. I mixed orange, red and white and applied through the stencil using silicone palette knife. You can see how I created some shading of colors. Impasto paints are very thick so they are just perfect to be applied through stencils. Then I have chosen some papers, tags and die cut elements from 7 Dot Studio Dreamscapes collection and I started to create to create some layers of embellishment papers. And then I have taken stamps from the same collection and using locking art archival I stamped here and there to create a little bit of interest at the background I like to use 3D foam because everything is more three dimensional. These are chipboard pieces from Dreamscape 7 Dot Studio collections, some word stickers, die cut elements and element stickers, everything from the same collection. You can add as many elements as you wish. I focused on the shapes. As you can see I used mainly triangles and circles. At first I place everything and then I start gluing. Now I have sprayed everything with a mix of water and mica powder from Finnabar. Then I took Art Alchemy acrylic paints. I have used orange and the beige and started to highlight some areas of my project 
to add some depth. The full list of supplies is available under my video on YouTube channel. These are Art Alchemy acrylic paints from Pinnacle. They sparkle beautifully. Now in pastel paints, also from Pinnacle, the colors are very rich and they are very very thick, so I dilute them in water with water and also highlight some areas of my project. I applied some heavy body gel. It's very thick and it's excellent for adding embellishments, even heavy ones. But I have used mini art stones. And also some pearls from Primo Marketing. I have added I have added them here and there. And then just wait it so everything dries. After everything dried, I took some word stickers from 7 Dot Studio. This is Dreamscapes collection. I love them. There are so many fabulous quotes. Follow your dreams. So many inspirational words. Now I have used Art Alchemy acrylic paint. It shimmers beautifully and I covered mini art stones applied previously and also highlighted some areas. For a list of supplies, please take a look at my YouTube channel at the bottom of this video. Sometimes I apply paints using my finger. Now I took in pastel paint from Finavar, white one to highlight some areas. This paint is very thick.
I love black Indian ink and I use it very often. I did some splatters here and there and at the end I used red amber. It's uh, Finnova Wax and I highlighted some areas with adding some final touches. And here it is. Thank you for watching my video.